Help me put your hands together to Bishop Wale Anyagosi. Flame of fire, word outreach. On those state Nigeria. You welcome, sir. God bless you. How many of us enjoy him? If you enjoy him, just let's kill him the house. Let's shout if you enjoy the man of God. Can we just lift up those hands? Let's rise up on our feet. Let's lift up our hands to Jesus. He has all ability. All power belongs to him. There is nothing he cannot do. His God is not man. He is not man. He is God. He is God. He can use the weakest of all the instruments in the world to achieve his purpose. There is nothing he cannot do. He is the almighty. He is the El Shaddai. The double-breasted God. The God, the creator of the ends of the universe. The one that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The one that cannot change. The unchangeable changer. Lift up your hand and just worship him. Just thank him. Just thank him. Sing it. Thank you 
for your spirit. Thank you for your leading. Thank you for leading us aright. Thank you for not leaving us alone. Thank you for giving us a discerning spirit. We give you all the praise. Holy Spirit, that which you have not finished, that you want to do through this little vessel, this vessel of clay that is in your hand, that which you have not completed, Holy Spirit, you will do it tonight. Yeah. You will do it tonight. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Before you sit down, please keep standing. There was a prayer we were praying yesterday and I spoke about a verse of scripture. We didn't open it. So when daddy called me around four or five, between four and five, when he called me, the moment I dropped the call, that was the first scripture that struck me. I just mentioned the scripture yesterday along the line of the prayer but we didn't open it that was the first scripture that struck me and we're going to pray it after that when we sit down <laughs> thank you Holy Spirit <laughs> there, there is something that God will not have me to live without saying I'm telling you now after we pray I will show you five levels of restoration in the Old Testament I'll show you I'll if I can take two today, I'll take two, but I'll complete it maybe tomorrow. There is something that the Holy Spirit will not allow me to live. You know, there are levels of restoration. And that's where I'm taking you tonight. But let us pray this prayer. Psalm 30 verse 5. I know you know the scripture very well, but be careful. Be care I'm always afraid when God is pointing me to a scripture that I can read off hand. I'm telling you. When God is showing me a scripture that I can read in my dream, I'm always afraid. Because I know that if I'm not careful, I will miss what God is saying. Yes. I fear the scripture that I can quote that I know of and more than new scriptures. Because I know that what's there. Look at this scripture. For his anger is but for a moment. One. His favor is for life. Two. Weeping may endure for a night. Three. But joy comes in the morning. Four. There are four ingredients in that scripture, but I will only pick two. Let's save the other two for another day. Give me in the KJV, in the authorized KJV. Oh, good. For his anger endureth boy for a moment. If I start to preach on that, I will hook on that. That's number one. Number two, in his favor is life. That means without favor, there is no life. If I start preaching on that now, I will be hooked on that one. That's why I said there are four solid ingredients in that one verse. The first ingredient is anger and endured for a moment. Let me just tell you in one second. If you have an issue in your life and somebody is telling you that is the anger of God and the issue persists, is a lie. You didn't hear me. If you are a child of God and something is happening to you, and somebody tells you it's because of a sin that you committed and you have repented and you have prayed and you have begged God, you have seek forgiveness for God and somebody is still telling you that God is punishing you for that sin the person is a liar I don't have time I will have taken you to other scripture is anger endured but for a moment a moment okay maybe I should quickly take you to that scripture there is a scripture that says let me quickly take you to that scripture. God said, I was a little bit angry with my people. Zechariah 1 and 15. Can you go there, media? Be very fast. I have a lot of things to do tonight. Look, look at what God said. Zechariah 1 15. I'm, I'm just in the first point of Psalm 35. And I am very so displeased with the eatings, with the unbelievers, with the other nations that are at ease, with the wicked people. For I was but a little displeased and they helped me forward the affliction. I was annoyed with my people a little. They helped me expand it. So the anger of God 
is but for a moment. The moment you go back to God, I am sorry. The anger is removed. So if anybody is telling you that what you are suffering now is as a result of what you did while you were in secondary school, it's not correct. Oh. If anybody said God is angry, the devil can be holding it against you. Very correct. Yes, eh? The devil can be using it to torment and punish you. Very correct. But God, no. No. He said our sins as it throw to the depth of the sea and it will remember it no more. That's what the Bible says. He has thrown it to the depth of the sea and he will remember it no more. So his anger endures, but for a moment. Go back to 30. I'm not, I'm not preaching on 35 tonight. I'm going somewhere. Second thing there. In his favor is life. Without, without favor, there is no life. So if you don't have favor, you don't even have life. It is only when you have favor that you can talk about life. Because the, the favor of God is the spices of life. What spice up your life is the favor of God. Without the favor of God, there is no life. That's not where I'm going to. Let's go to where we are going to now. Yesterday, we prayed a prayer that God will turn the joy of witchcraft over our life to sorrow. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now, look at what struck me when daddy called me. Weeping may endure for a night. Weeping can prolong for a night. And when apostles stood there, when Baba was leading us in prayer, I was shocked because he said something quite well that God told me. The moment he called me, he said, weeping may endure for... Baba was talking about blockage, delay, powers that are prolonging. Well, he said, weeping may endure for a night. The moment weeping is enduring, there are some people behind it. You didn't get me. The moment your weeping is prolonging, there is a power that is prolonging your weeping. Exodus chapter number 2, from verse 23, 24, and 25. The moment your weeping is prolonging, he said, Weeping may prolong. Look at this. And it came to pass in the process of time. Look at this. Just, just watch this story. That the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by the reason of bondage and they were weeping. They cried. And their cry came up to God by the reason of the bondage. When their cry came up to God, what happened? Verse 20, 24. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. 25. And God looked upon the children of Israel and had respect unto them. These guys were weeping. You want to pray? Oh? These guys were weeping. As they were weeping, the Bible said God heard and respected them and answered them. But there is somebody who said, I will prolong your weeping. Chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, let my people go that, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. Let's stop at verse 2. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I allow them to stop crying. I know not the Lord, neither will I allow them to stop crying. You are going to pray. Every Pharaoh that is prolonging my weeping, are you still sitting down? Are you ready to pray? Are you sure you are ready to pray? Every pharaoh that is prolonging my weeping. Oh my God. I don't like the one you are doing this night. Oh. Every pharaoh that is prolonging my weeping. You can do better than that. Every pharaoh that is prolonging my weeping. I send the judgment of God upon your life. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak to God now. Every Pharaoh that is prolonging my weeping, are you sure you are praying? Yes. Every Pharaoh that is prolonging my weeping, you can do better than that. Send the judgment of God. Let the judgment of God come upon that Pharaoh. Let the judgment of God 
Yes. Yes. Are you sure you are praying? Every power prolonging my weeping. Every power prolonging my sorrow. Every power prolonging my hardship. Every power prolonging my affliction. Let them be wasted. Let the power be wasted. Is somebody praying in this house? Are you sure you are praying in this house? Are you sure you are praying? Every witchcraft power prolonging my sorrow, prolonging my weeping, prolonging my crying, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted, be wasted. Are you sure you are praying? Yes. In Jesus mighty name we pray. There are four people that owns this prayer. Now we are coming back to this prayer. But the Lord just said we should pray now. Please, if you pray this prayer very well, write it down before the end of June. Some people that have conspired against you. They will fight to your face. Maybe you didn't hear me. I had this. It's not even part of my prayer. I had it just now. And we're going to pray it. Before the end of June, people that conspired against you, they will fight themselves until they get to your front. Everything they have done behind you, they will come and say it before you. I just add that we should pray that God should raise Pharaoh against Pharaoh. Let Egypt fight Egypt. Isaiah 19, is it verse 2? Let me check verse 1. Isaiah 19, let me check verse 1. First. Go to verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's what I'm looking for. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And they shall fight everyone against his brother. Everyone against his neighbor. City against city. Ay, 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 ay. Kingdom against kingdom. Are you sure you are here tonight? Are you sure you are ready to pray? My father. My father. Rest Egypt against Egypt. Let witches fight themselves. Over my matter. Over my case. My father. Rest Egypt against Egypt. Let witches fight themselves. Over my matter, are you sure you are praying? Open your mouth and speak to God. I didn't hear you. Are you sure you are praying this prayer? Are you sure you are praying this prayer? I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. They shall fight everyone against his brother. Neighbor against neighbor. City against city. Kingdom against kingdom. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Put that scripture there. Let's pray it exactly the way it's written there. Put the scripture there. I saw daddy laughing. Some people came to you as we were praying that prayer. They are narrating something to you and you are laughing. And you are now telling them, but I told you. Listen to me. People who are, who are related by blood that have conspired against you, they will fight themselves to your face. <laughs> Sir, in June, in June, people who are over your matter, that's why I said put the scripture there. That's how we are going to pray Brother shall fight brother. Sister will fight sister. Neighbor will fight neighbor. City will fight city. Kingdom will fight kingdom. 
because of my matter let brothers fight brother let sisters fight sister let city fight city let kingdom fight kingdom let neighbor fight neighbor open your mouth and fire prayer somebody open your mouth and fire the prayer over my matter over my case let brothers fight brothers is somebody praying let them fight themselves and release what belongs to me let brother fight brother because of my restoration because of my restoration yes let brothers fight brothers sisters fight sisters neighbors fight neighbors city fight cities kingdom fight kingdom and release what belongs to me release what belongs to me release what belongs to me Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Yes. Fight yourself. I release what belongs to me. Fight yourself. Fight yourself. Fight yourself. I release what belongs to me. Fight yourself. I release my miracle. Release everything that belongs to me. Yakatabaya. Azabakotokolia. Zebra katakataya, shadabara, ikabadadaya, yabra katoko lebosha, anda brako toko to, yadadadadada, maraka pakatu kataya, shikata kataya, yadadadadada, abrako poko to ya. Yes, 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 raka pakatoli. Yes, yes. Yes. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. One of the assignment and mandate given to Jeremiah is also the assignment and the mandate given to me. And if you're a child of God, it's also given to you. And that assignment is in Jeremiah 1 and 10. We're going back to our we're going back to our Psalm 35 very soon now. 1 and 10. See, I have this day set thee over nations, over kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, to build, and to plant. Now we want to root out. Amen. When you don't want to see something again, you root it out. Amen. I'm a village boy. I'm a village boy to the core. When you don't want to see the traces of a tree, you uproot it. You don't cut it. There are some trees, they are stubborn. If you cut, you are just joking. It's coming back again. You uproot it. You begin to look for all the tap root, fibrous root. Or you look and you destroy the root totally. You uproot it. Fine. We are going to uproot some elements now. Isaiah 30 said, weeping may endure for a night. Anyone that has been raised in witchcraft cover. To elongate my whip. Anyone that has been raised in the realm of darkness to prolong my whipping, I uproot you by fire. Amen. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Whosoever has been raised to prolong my whipping, whosoever has been raised to prolong my affliction, be uprooted now. Open your mouth and speak to God now. Yes. Be uprooted. Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Be uprooted. Anyone that the devil has raised. Yes. Are you sure you are praying? In Jesus mighty name we pray. Three people need to be helped here. I don't know them. Hold somebody. Three people. They need to be helped. The hand of God will come upon them now. As we pray this prayer. Hold somebody. 
Pray for that person. Three people need to be helped. Old, somebody. You're going to pray for that person. Whosoever has been raised to prolong your weeping. I join my faith with your faith to uproot that person. Two, 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 two. Two, two. Just hold one person. Make it two, two. Very good. Make it two, two. Whosoever has been raised to prolong your weeping, I join my faith with your faith. Let that person be uprooted. Open your mouth and pray for that person. Now. I can't hear you. Are you sure? Oh, you are praying yes yes somebody needs to be helped now yes pray for that person pray for that person pray for that person yes 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 aha aha I can hear you yes 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 the hand of God is coming upon that person now. Yes, that's it. 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 Yes. 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 Who's uproot them? Uproot them. Uproot them. Uproot. 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 Yes. Yes. Uproot. 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 That's number two. That's number two. Uproot. Epa. Epa. That's two. Uproot. Epa. That's number two. Uproot. Yes. 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 I can hear you. Where's number three? Where's number three? Where's number three? Where's number three? Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Number three is here. Open your mouth and pray now. Uproot. Uproot. Yes. Be uprooted. Yes. Be uprooted. Aha. 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 Uh -huh. Yes, 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 be uprooted, be uprooted, yes, uh -huh. Uh -huh. by the power of the Holy Ghost, whosoever has been raised from witchcraft cover, yes, yes, leke pakatayaba, zeke pratakataya, ipratakataya, yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Rapa kata kata. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Aha, aha, aha. Yes, yes, yes. Ah! Ah! Yes, yes, yes. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, 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 yes. Ah! Ah! Yes, yes, yes. Yes, now. Now. Whosoever has been raised. Yes, yes, whosoever has been raised Aha. to prolong my weeping, Yerima Kapalaba Zebra Kotolia Yerima Shakatalaba Zokapalaba. Yes, 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 yes. There is a man there, there is a man there. There is a man there. Aha. 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 Yes. Let the hand of the living God come upon you now. Now. Whosoever has been raised. Yes. Yes. This day. We terminate your weeping. This day. We terminate your weeping. This day. Whosoever has been prolonging your weeping. We announce the barrier. We terminate your weeping. Today. Today. In the name of Jesus. Ripa katakataya. Shadabaya. Arapa katokolia. Yebra kopo soto. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jehovah God. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. I stand as a priest of Jehovah. Aha. 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 Yes. Osha be at alert. Barossa. Aha. Yes. I stand as a priest of Jehovah. Aha. Yes. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. 
every power prolonging your weeping. Aha, aha, aha. Yes, the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. We put a stop to your weeping now. We put a stop to your weeping now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. The spirit of joy. The spirit of joy. To replace the spirit of heaviness. Aha. Aha. Lift up your hand, everybody. Yes. There is an overflow. Not just those three alone. Not just those three. Just lift up your hand. There is an exchange now. Aha. Aha. The spirit of joy. Aha. Yes. I see garment of sorrow being removed now. Yes. Yes. Aha. 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 Yes. Aha. Restoration of joy. Aha. Aha. Yes. I see God restoring joy now. Yes. Yes. Aha. Holy Spirit of God, thank you for the restoration. For the restoration of their joy. Yes. Woman, take it now. Aha. Woman, take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Aha. Yes. Take it now. Yes. Yes. The weapon of your enemy has expired. Yeah. Woman, that is what I just had now. That weapon they place inside you that has been working against you. That is what I just had now. Where are you? Yes, one. Yes, before the count of four. Two. Wherever you may be in this house. Woman, wherever you may be. Yes, before I count five. The weapon that they place inside you to torment you. That weapon has expired. Yes, 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 yes. Aha, aha. Three. Yes, yes. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, yes. That weapon is expired now. Yes, yes. Four. Yes, yes. There is one more person. There is one more person. Aha, aha, aha. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That weapon has expired totally. Amen. Affliction will not rise the second time. Amen. Affliction will not rise the second time. Amen. Your joy has started. Amen. Pray this one more prayer and you take your seat. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. You are going to pray. Father, send a pass of joy to me. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 24. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and the very last verse. Not for that we have dominion over your faith, but we are a pass of your joy. We are a pass of your joy. You're going to pray that prayer. All my airpass of joy that has been taken away. My father restored them. Before the end of this convention. Not that we have dominion over your faith. But we are airpass of your joy. We are airpass of your joy. All the airpass of joy that has been taken away from me. Before the end of this convention. My father. I see somebody waiting for an important news. Outside of this country. But it's in Europe. Outside of this country. But the country is Europe. You are waiting for an important news. Important information. Is outside of this country, but it's Europe. 
I had got now is another country in Europe. You are waiting for that information. But hear this. The Lord just said, I should announce to you that your airpass of joy that has been taken away, they are restored tonight. I don't know what you are waiting for, but it shall be an answer of peace. It shall be an answer of peace. My father, restore my airpass of joy. My father, every airpass of joy that has been taken away from me, restore them now. Is somebody praying in this house? Are you sure you are praying? Are you sure you are praying? Is somebody praying in this house? Restore. Air pass of joy. Air pass of joy. Air pass of joy. Air pass of joy. Yes. Air pass of joy. Air pass of joy. Let them be restored to me. Air pass of joy. In Jesus mighty name we pray. There's a business transaction that you had with somebody and you so much trusted the person but the person swindled you. And since then, you have been so skeptical. You have been bitter. You don't trust people again. The Lord has me to tell you that you should clear it from your mind because it is, it is the past. It is yesterday. Don't allow the past to hold you down. The Lord said he's going to restore you. Amen. Said that person is coming back to beg you. Amen. He's still holding you down. Before you leave this night, just go on your knee and say, God, I let go. That is what is holding you. You trusted that person so much. You trusted that person so much. But he betrayed you big time. Before you leave this place, but you are still bitter about the situation. The Lord just said, I should tell you that that's what is holding you down. That another door has been opened to you, but that thing, that thing has caused a veil. It cannot allow you to see that door. And now I join my faith with your faith now. The veil is removed. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please take your seat. If you are doing it for Jesus, it can be better than that. Amen. If it's for me, that is too much. If it's for me, that clap is too much. I don't need up to that. But if it's for Jesus, it can be better than that. If it's for Jesus, it could be better than that. Hallelujah. Once again, I want to celebrate our daddy and our mommy for the love and the trust. It's not, it's not every man it's not every man of God that can release their puppy to you. Because so many things are happening in the body of Christ today. Too many things. Too many, I'm, I'm young, but I'm, I've been around for a while. <laughs> I'm still a very young man, but I've been, on the, I've been on this work for a while. At least close to half of my age. <laughs> I've been preaching. Close to half of my age. So, I've been around for a while. There are so many things that are happening on this. Before. So, for a man to entrust his puppy to you, it means a lot. And I also celebrate our father for the discerning spirit that God has given to him. Amen. I'm supposed to be out of this place this morning, but one way or the other, God has an assignment for me here and decided to keep me here. So, we thank God. We thank our daddy and our mommy and our apostle. We celebrate you, sir. 
Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. You are, you are indeed a father. The Lord will spare your life for us. Amen. We will do 80 together. <laughs> yes, maybe when we are doing 80, maybe it's me that will preach then. Daddy will just sit down to bless us. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we will do 80 if Jesus Christ started. To all the servants of God in the house, uh, Daddy, you're welcome. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All the servants of God in the house, all the wonderful people, the wonderful choir, the, all the hospitality, the protocol, the people that have been taking care of me. The Lord God of heaven will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me show you five levels of restoration. When I show you the five, I will dig deep into two because of my time. In Leviticus chapter number 6, Leviticus chapter number 6, let's take it from verse 1, Leviticus, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, go ahead, this is an injunction, it's a commandment, it's an instruction that must be enforced, and we want to enforce it under this program, today and tomorrow we will enforce it. If a soul sin and commit trespass against the Lord and lie unto his neighbor in that which was delivered him to keep or in fellowship or in a thing taken away by violence or hath deceived his neighbor, three, or have found that which was lost and lied concerning it and sweareth falsely, in any of all these things that a man doeth, sinning therein. Verse 4, that's where I'm going to. Then it shall be because he had sinned and is guilty that he shall restore. Somebody say restore. restore. He shall restore that which he took violently away. One. Or the things which he had deceitfully gotten. Two. Or that which was delivered to him to keep. Three. Or the last thing which he found for, go ahead. Or all that about which he has sworn falsely, he shall even restore it in the principal, that in itself. And he shall add a fifth part, 20%, not 10%. He shall add 20% part more thereunto and give it unto him whom it appertained in the day of his trespass offering. Let me speak about five levels of restoration. And if you can mirror yourself in any of this one, I congratulate you. You need to listen attentively. We may take just one or two tonight and we'll pray seriously. If you can figure yourself in any of these five, I congratulate you under this convention. God told Moses, he said, there are five categories of people that have suffered injustice, that they have taken what belongs to them. He said, please make sure that anybody, anybody who is responsible for such injustice, make sure you apprehend them, arrest such a person, make sure that he restore that thing. Not only that, not only the principal, but he must add a fifth part. That is 20%. That means if he violently took 10,000 pounds from you, he must restore 10,000 pounds, which is the principal, and 2,000 pounds, which is the trespass offering. There is somebody under the sound of my voice. I don't know whether you are the one I'm talking about, but if your amen can be louder than the person sitting beside you, whatever has been taken away from you is coming back with interest. Yeah. That means even if your time, if somebody wasted your time, somebody promised to marry you and he was deceiving you and he deceived you and you wasted five years of your life and after the five years, he said no and you have wasted five years. The Bible is saying, I will restore the five years. That means the things you lost in the five years will be restored. And not only that, I will now go and take extra one year to give you as a bonus. Amen. Amen. 
That is the covenant we are entering into tonight. Amen. As many that can see it. Now the first level, verse 1, sorry, verse 4. Let me take the first level. I won't rush it. It's deeper than you are seeing. When I pick the first one now, you will see that it's deep. Then it shall be because he had sinned. And he is guilty that he will restore that which he took violently away. Now, let us start with that. There are things that were taken from you violently. We are going to pray tonight. The things they took for, from you violently that was taken by force. Other version of the Bible calls it things taken by force. I'll give you a very good and classical example. And I'll also show you that God did restore it. And what God said here was done to that person. I'll show you your Bible now. God said there are people that things were taken from them by force. They didn't like it. But there was nothing they could do about it. It belongs to them. Rightfully, it was their own. It's their property. It's their entitlement. It's God that gave it to them. But somebody came and took it violently from them because he has more power. Because he's in a position of authority. Because he, 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 he has some powers that are backing him. Because he's connected to some satanic power and he took it away violently. And the person who owns it was just crying and weeping and weeping. And they are taking it away and they could not do anything. Genesis chapter number 37 verse 23. Genesis 37 verse 23. I mean the first example. I just take one and two if my time will permit me and we'll pray. I want us to soak it in. Look at this. Look at this. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren that they stripped Joseph. I'm not a student of uh, English. I mean in advanced level. I did English in low level. But English is not my course of study. <laughs> but I think simple grammar will tell me that when you say somebody is stripped of his clothes, it's not, it's not gently. Eh? Is it gently? <laughs> maybe if you get other version of the Bible, maybe you, maybe you can say another version that will, that will give us that language better. When Joseph, they striped him. Is he, is he talking about stripe? They re, look at this one. Uh -huh. <laughs> ripping. <laughs> this one is ripping. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is there any other one there apart from ripping? He's talking about force. He's talking about violence. When Joseph got to his brothers, go back to the KJV, thank you, they stripped him. When you are stripped of your belonging, then it's a violent thing. It is not possible for maybe a mother now, a mother, your baby of uh, two years or your, your child of five years, you want to undress or remove his clothes. If you say, if we are now using stripped, it's not correct. Is it correct? It's not correct. Because that is not force. You can only strive somebody of something by force. The moment Joseph got to them, these guys, number one, number two, number three, number four, to number ten, they have been looking at Joseph. Are you the only one in this house? Are you the only one? Can I pray for you? Can I pray for you? Yes, I didn't. Can I pray for you? Yes, if there is anybody here, since you have been born, you have been suffering envy, today the battle comes to an end. Yes, now listen to me. Please get ready. The things they took from you by envy, today is the day that it shall be restored. Yes, there are some things that were taken from you because of envy. Yes. <coughs> Stupid guys. Stupid guys. Instead of them to go and meet their father to buy their own clothes for them. If I'm wearing a coat of many color, why don't you go and meet God? If you see somebody shining, you see somebody doing well, somebody shining, 
His business is going well, family going well, career going well, ministry going well, everything going well. Instead of envy the person, why don't you go to God? The Bible says he's the God of all and he's rich to all them that call upon him. That's what he says. He's rich unto all them that call upon him. He's rich unto everybody. Why don't you go to God? Why envy the man? If I see something good here in our daddy's life or in this church that I like, I go to God, I pray. Apart from going to God and pray, I will ask daddy, daddy, how is this thing? This thing, I like it. How did you do it? Can you explain to me? How can I do it? Be humble enough. When somebody is ahead of you, listen, there is no competition in life. If you are competing, you will soon die. Hypertension is very cheap. I block prayer. Very, very cheap. Very cheap. You don't need to pay anything. You don't need to pay anything. God is my witness, number one. Number two, my wife is my witness. If there is a church next to our church, I don't even know what they are doing there, and I don't care. And I'm not interested. And I don't want to know. Because the assignment is different from my assignment. We are, not, we are not having the same assignment. If I see you out, I will celebrate you. If you invite me, if it's the next door, I will come. I will preach out my heart. I will pray for you. I will bless you. I will go my way. That cannot stop me. It can only increase me. It can reduce me. It is envy that reduces people. When you celebrate, or when you see what God is doing in the life of daddy, and you celebrate him, it doesn't reduce you. It's only when you are criticizing, you are skeptical. You, are, you know, when somebody is criticizing somebody all the time, there is something in the life of that person that he lost. Eje ojewo. Eje ojewo. He should say the truth. Let him talk the truth. All the time, you are just criticizing that man. You are saying, that church. Don't mind them in that church. They'll be making noise. Don't mind that. All the time, noise. Are they the only, are they the only one around? Why are they closing like that? They, it program, they just finished the program. They are like, it's a lie. It's, that is the manifestation of envy. <laughs> when my name is coming out too much in your sermon, that means I'm ahead of you. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. I tell people, when my name is always appearing in your sermon, my name is always appearing your, on your altar, that is envy. Yes. Manifestation of envy. These guys are... They are demonic guys. Evil. They have been looking at that boy. Okay, we'll get you now. She'll be now. We'll go see. <laughs> you go see you. We'll what day? Don't worry. Ah, as he just appeared. The Bible says, when they saw him after, they said, yeah. Today, now today. <laughs> and the moment he came, the first thing they targeted was that cloth. Yes. They stripped him of that. It was violently. Joseph was looking at them, but he could not say anything. What will he say? One boy among about 11 brothers, all of them were older than him. They were stronger. They have power. They have everything. And they have colluded together. And he could not do anything than to surrender. They stripped him of that garment. And the guy was weeping. But he could not do anything. But he committed his cause unto God. Listen to me. Speak to God this night. Whatever they have taken violently, this night is your night of restoration. <laughs> I can't hear your amen very well. Amen. Joseph was looking unto God and he was crying. And those guys were laughing. Yes, we have taken the coat now. Eh, let's see now. Shebi has been doing shakara. Shebi has been doing shakara. Let's see now. We have removed that coat. But our God is a faithful God. When the day of restoration came, I thought that God will give him coat. God did not give him coat. They took coat. Look at what God gave back. I will restore the principal and restore 20%. Let's see what God gave back to him. 41, 41 of Genesis. What did God give back to him? 41 and 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And Pharaoh took off his ring. Yes. Ah. Shebi, apostle, Baba, they took ring from Joseph. Daddy, have you? Eh? Are you sure? Are you sure? No. I thought they took ring from him. <laughs> there was no ring. They didn't take ring from him. But the man said, let me start your decoration from ring. The interest. Listen to me. What they took from you, God will give you far better. Amen. Don't 
allow any man to give you problem, to give you hypertension. Relax. The God who gave you that one that they took away is able, abundantly able, to do exceeding abundantly, far above, more than you can ask or think of, according to the power that worketh in you. He will do it for you. I was shocked when they were to restore what was forcefully taken, violently taken, the man said, let us start from ring. He said, Joseph, have you used your I said, no, ring. No, I don't know what is ring. He said, okay, bring your hand. He removed his ring and Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand. Listen to me. They didn't go to the boutique. Eh? Not that they went to buy. The ring in the hand of Pharaoh. Then, in those days, kings, even till, till when, till some, some, some hundreds of years ago, kings, bishops, and the rest, their ring, what they do is that they inscribe their signature on their ring. Yes. So when they write letter, they use their ring to stamp it. That their ring is their authority. Pharaoh removed his authority and gave to Joseph. That was where the decoration started. Today, you are entering a new realm of authority. Maybe you didn't hear me. Today, even Jacob did not have ring. Even Jacob, the father of Joseph, have not seen ring before. But they put a ring in the hand of Joseph. Authority. That means today we have set you above your family. Amen. Have you forgotten that the boy said, I saw the moon and the star. Amen. And the sun. The sun and the moon and the twelve stars. They bow to me. My father, my mother, all my brothers. So, Pharaoh said, this is the time of fulfillment of prophecy. Let me give you something that when they see in your hand, they don't have option than to bow. Hear this. Can I see your right hand? Can I see your right hand? As if you want to receive something. Can I see your right hand? What will make your mates to bow to you? May Jehovah give it to you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Maybe you didn't hear me. What will make your family members to submit to you? I join my faith with your faith. I join my faith with the faith of the elders in the house. What will make all your mates to bow to you? May Jehovah put it in your hands. I pray for you today. What no man has ever received in your lineage. Joseph was the first to be given a ring in his lineage. What no man has ever received in your lineage, I join my faith with your faith. Receive it now in the name of you. I know you are in a foreign land. Hear this and hear very well. But the authorities of this land will bow to you. Pharaoh was saying, I am the authority in this land, but I give you the authority. Hear it and hear it very well. Please carry yourself with dignity. Carry yourself with a swag. Only swag. Eh? Carry yourself with a only swag. Anywhere you are entering, don't carry yourself like a slave. Don't carry yourself as if somebody was about to die. Carry yourself with a only swag. Because, listen to me, either they like it or not, God will force them to submit to you. Amen. Sir, something was pushing Pharaoh. This man must be crazy. How can you remove your ring and give it to a boy? Uh -uh. It's Holy Ghost madness, sir. Real Holy Ghost madness. He was mad. Something has happened to this man upstairs. Amen. You remove your ring, give it to a boy that was just coming from the prison. A boy. The next king command is there. He was looking at Pharaoh. Is Oga mad? But they can't query him. Is Oga mad? They can't query him. The chief priest of Egypt was there. He didn't consult anybody. That was the first time they will put somebody in position in Egypt without sitting in any council. He didn't consult anybody. He rubbish. In fact, that was, that was the first time that they would change the constitution of a country without going to the parliament. Wow. With immediate effect, they altered the constitution. A stranger to become the prime minister. Uh, they, he destroyed their constitution. 
Iyeyerize and mesmerize. Check your dictionary, you will see there. <laughs> Go check your dictionary. Iyeyerize it. You don't know Iyeyerize. Okay. Iyeyerize it. He mesmerize it. He chewed the constitution. He turned it. He said, throw it away. What constitution? And he brought a stranger. He said, this guy will, will rule you. If you are not interested, pack your load and get out of this country. When he gave the ring, people were angry, but they could not change it. From now, whosoever is angry against you, they shall be angry in vain. What God is about to give to you, anybody that is angry against it, they shall do but in vain. They shall do but in vain. A man that they took just coat, coat. Have you? They took away his coat. But now, the guy started with ring. One. And put it upon Joseph's hand. It means that this hand of yours, we hand do something special. Amen. Your hand from now, Radika Sotoria Kaba. Sir, there is, an, there is anointing service on Sunday, Abisa. There is anointing service on Sunday. Make sure the anointing oil touch, even if they anoint your head, make sure it touch your hand. Please don't forget. Make sure you touch your hand because this hand, I hear it clearly now. There are special things. Amen. Things that it has not undo before. It will get to this hand. Amen. Listen to me. It was a day that the level of Joseph changed. One day. Yesterday, no salary. No entitlement. No allowance. He was just in the prison eating, waking up and eating. But the following morning, they drafted a letter. The letter of appointment, the letter of everything. They gave him a house. They gave him, a, they gave him everything. And his salary is number one in Egypt. Number one. Number one in Egypt. That day, he began to determine the salary of everybody in Egypt. What a constitution. The guy scattered their constitution. He useless the chief accountant. He useless the he, he just useless everybody. And he said, Joseph, you are in charge. He took off his ring and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures. Vestures. Look at it. Not vesture. Vestures. Vest. Thank you. Plural. Not, not one. Before it was just a coat. <laughs> of many, that it, but now, vestures. If you want to see what is called vestures, go see orthodox bishops. Go to Catholic. See, when a bishop is fully dressed, if you count the clothes on him one by one, you will count over 16. Yes. I'm not joking. Sincho. The gadu. The cope, the mitre, you will count more than 16 when they are putting it one after the other. One, exactly like Aaron. Exact, go, check, go check your Bible and see the vesture they put on Aaron and his children. Not one, not two. No. He said, Joseph, we are putting on you vestures of fine linen. It was only one coat they took away from him. Listen to me. We don't allow where you are coming from to, to tie you down. Because the Bible says the glory that is ahead of us. He said the suffering of now rather cannot be compared to the glory that is ahead of us. Don't allow anything that you have passed through. When God passes through the fire, it shines brighter. Don't be bitter, be better. Don't allow any human being don't allow the behavior of anybody to make you bitter. No, I don't. There is absolutely nothing that you can do to me. I used to tell people, I said, I forgive you in advance. Yes, I mean it. I'm not joking. No. I'm not joking. That is my life. That is my life. That I have forgiven you in advance. You have not offended me, but I have forgiven you in advance. Because I, I can't allow you to tie me down. I'm telling you. God told me. Sir, something happened to me. I just laugh. I never knew God was testing me. I never knew. 
I never knew. I never knew. I just laughed when it happened. You know, I, I went to preach somewhere, sir. <laughs> and unfortunately, I didn't want to go because I have to officiate in another wedding. I have to officiate in a wedding in a very far place in Ondo State, Okutukwa. And I have to preach in a night VG Friday breaking Saturday. And I know this church, the VG is usually very long. And where I was, I drove myself to that place. Sir, when we finished the VG, <laughs> it, what I'm talking about is just last year. It's not many years ago. It has never happened in life. <laughs> now, it's, not, it's a different case that you know that this person is just coming up in ministry and let me just go and assist the person. Let me do this. But you know this person, maybe it was, I, what was in his mind, I don't know. After the night VG, I spent from 11 to about 5 a.m., I was sitting down. Minister did everything. Sir, what the man gave to me cannot, cannot even buy one quarter of my foil. But I just laughed. I just laughed. I never knew God was testing me. But I've, I've said it before people that I have forgiven in advance. I laughed. I saw it. I, I was just laughing. And you know what I did? Immediately I took my phone. I called him. I said, thank you, sir. God bless you. Please help me appreciate the church. Thank you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And I left. Sir, the same month, a church invited me in Lagos. They gave me 40 minutes to preach. 45 minutes to preach. But one way or the other, it ended up being one hour. I won't tell you what they gave to me. The same month. The same month. That in my life, that is the single largest offering I've ever received. The same month. This one was the first Friday or there about of that month. This one was the last one. In fact, precisely March last year. I can't forget. Precisely... But I never knew. And I said, because why the guy did it, it was like, it was like an insult. It's not the money, really. But it was like as if you want to deliberately insult me. It's not the money. This, this is a person, by the grace of God, this is even a person that, let's leave that side. And he, he comes to my place. We celebrate him. We put our protocol in place. We house him, we put him in a good hotel, give him. So it, I was just wondering. I said, No, 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 no. This man, Rara, I took my phone, I called him. I said, oh, ah, sir, thank you so much. The Lord bless you. I appreciate the church. And I just, and I forgot it. Wow. Sincerely. The same month, sir. The same month. It was the last when, if you check the calendar of last year, the last Wednesday should be, the last day of March should be, the, should be a Wednesday. There is a name they call that program in that church in Lagos. There is a name they call that program. They call it social service. I won't mention the name. That, I'm telling you, aside of that, the women of the church, they gather together, they bought fabrics for me, both me and my wife. Aside of what they, outside of the, they gave check. After giving check, they not, you know, it was so funny. After the money they even gave as cash to fuel my vehicle. I was, why you have given me check? Why this one again? I was shocked. So when I got to my house, I said, ah. I said, okay. Okay, I said, even now, I said, I, I, I have a new commitment that I will forgive you in advance. Because there are people that if you don't forgive them, they will tie you down. You won't get to where you are going to. I'm telling you, if I had had that man in my heart, I said, not to hold him in my heart. I took my phone with immediate effect. I was, in fact, I bought a lot of chewing gum in my car that day. I drove myself. I was chewing gum to be able to get to Oktipa. That morning, yes. I was chewing gum. I was driving because I was sleeping on steering. Because I have to officiate in the wedding. But I called him immediately just to clear my heart. So please, one of the, one of the secrets of Joseph was that he forgave all his brothers. When the father died, they came to him, they prostrated, they lied. Oh, lady, they are thieves. They are rogues. They said, our father said, eh, after his death, we should go to you and beg you. He says, eh, you, you are all rogues. I know you. He said, am I in the position of God? Am I in the place of God? He said, I will nourish you. Somebody here, the people who have wronged you, you will nourish them. You didn't say me. Are you still holding them? I said you will feed them. That is the prayer you should be praying, sir. They should be waiting for you, sir. The same you that they say will not amount to anything your father's house, they should be waiting for you to, to feed them. 
That is it. Don't allow anybody. Even if the person delivers, I see it. it's not the money. Forget about the money. It's not the money. It's not the money. Because one thing I believe about God is that whatever God will do for me, he will do. He, would, he can raise people from anywhere. He can raise somebody I've never even seen before. And we'll just say, hello, God bless you, sir. Uh, God is leading me to give you this, and that's all. That's why it's not the moment. I saw, is it a deliberate insult, or what happened? Or why is he doing like this? But I said, no, Rara, I'm wiser than this. No, 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 I said, I'm, I'm wiser than this. Don't let this man get me down. You can't get me down. So Joseph allowed everything to go. And when the thing left him, sorry, go back to the scripture. Go back to the scripture. They arrayed him in vesture of fine linen and put goat chain about his neck. They took a coat. Now he's coming back as a ring, as a chain, as vestures. Not vesture, as vesture. So listen to me. Whatever anybody took away from you violently, it will, if you can release it from your heart and don't allow it to bother you, it will always come back in many fold. So don't, listen to me, when you are doing things for people, do it with your heart. It's a principle of life that you must embrace. I don't do anything with half of my heart. I don't do it. Instead, I will not do it at all. I will tell you politely that I'm sorry, I can't do it. But when I'm doing anything, I do it with the whole of my heart. That I am going to receive the reward from God and not man. And not man. And Joseph was abundantly rewarded. A man that they took, the only coat that he was using to shine. The only coat that he was using to shine. The only coat that he was using to shine. They took it away, but he smiled. He smiled. But the day the thing will come back, it come back. It came back as vestures, as a ring, as chain. And they now added what? And he made him to ride in the second chariot, which he had. And they cried before him, bowed the nail. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Let me stop on that one there. But let me join my faith with your faith. This night as we pray, the things that were violently taken away, we are going to pray in this house. There will be restoration with interest. Ah, are you ready to pray? Yes, are you ready to pray? The things that were violently taken away with interest, is coming back this night. Yes. As we pray this night, please release your faith. I've, I've given you the key. Don't hold anybody. It's dangerous. Please release anybody in your heart now. Please re just release the person. That is the key. The moment you can get that, you can release people from your heart now. It will work like white fire. I'm telling you, the moment we are going to pray now, the things they took away violently, Father, restoration with interest. In the order, in the manner that you restore Joseph, Father, restore me tonight. In the way and manner that you restore the losses of Joseph, they took away one coat, it came back. At, in fact, that was the vesture they gave to him on the day of inauguration. Abby, what about the many, many other that he got? Cloth was no more his problem. Vesture was no more his problem. Even chariot was no more his problem. He was in charge of everything, even land, in charge of all the food, everything in Egypt. God put him in charge. This night as you pray, the things that they took away from you, whatever has been making you to, sad, to be sad, whatever has been making you to be, to be crying, whatever has been making you to be sorrowful, you are getting it back double. Yeah. Can I just rush only one more? Go back to that scripture. So I will make it two. Let me rush the second one. I will give you the scripture. You go and read it. I'll just, the second one. No, no, no. Um, Leviticus 6, 4. Let me rush the second one. Fast. Number two. The things which he had deceitfully gotten. Deceitfully gotten. If there's anything taken away from you by deceit, the person cajoled you. And took it away. God said, be ready. The person cajole you. Have you seen places where the she bridesmaid became the wife of the husband? 
the chief bridesmaid. The assistant wife became the wife, the deputy wife. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's an evil word. Deceitfully. Have you seen places where somebody said, ah, my friend, this is your, this is your land. Uh, please, uh, can you just let me be, I just want to be doing something there. Uh, don't worry, uh, I will give to you. This and, this and at the end of the day, he made papers and said he's the owner of that land. He took it by deceit. There are things taken by deceit. God said, if there is anything taken from you by deceit, it's the word of God, though. It's not my word. So look at your life now. Did anybody swindle you? Did anybody come to you as if he wants to have a business transaction with you? And with sweet mouth, with sweet mouth, with sweet mouth, the person began to cajole you until he took your money and he ran away. Listen to me. The wind of God will bring back that person. Amen. That money, the Bible says, in the principle, it shall be restored. And a fifth part of it, that is 20%, will be given to you again. Listen to me. Anything that has been taken from you deceitfully, anything that has been taken away from you deceitfully, it shall be restored tonight. Amen. Very good example. Go and read it when you get home. Because of our time. Very good example. Jacob got to the house of Laban. He didn't come to sign for 21 years. <laughs> he did not come to sign for 21 years. When he got to the house, oh, welcome my brother. Hey, you're my brother now. Hey, 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 it's my sister that gave her to you. Hey, you're my brother. Oh, welcome. Hey. And I said, ah, I like this, your daughter. I said, ah, you will serve me. And he served seven years of his life. Seven whole years of his life. After seven years, in the night of the wedding, instead of giving <laughs> the original, they gave the counterfeit. Sorry, oh, if your name is Leah, I didn't call you counterfeit. Oh. Don't fight me. Oh. <laughs> instead of giving the, or the original that he paid for is Leah. Rachel. Rachel, sorry. It's Rachel. That was the one that he paid for. Seven years. But after the seven years, that night, he gave Leah. And in the, the following morning, he said, uh -uh, Olga, this is not what I paid for. I said, ah, sorry. I forgot to tell you that time. Hey, yeah, hey, hey, I, I'm supposed to tell you. Don't, hey, sorry, don't be offended. I just forgot. I forgot uh, for seven years. Somebody working for seven years and you forgot to tell him the culture of your land. It is not so in our land that the younger will marry before the elder for seven years. And the man was walking for you, going and come. In fact, Jacob said at times he will be in the rain walking. When Jacob was recounting his ordeal, he said, if there is any of Laban's animal torn by white beasts, he said, I pay. Yes, read your Bible. It's as bad as that. He said, if any white animal get hold of your goat or your sheep, they destroy. He said, I will pay. I pay for it. Because of Rachel, mommy, Hashemah. I pay for that, that guy. I don't know that guy. Ah, in fact, that name says Jacob. Now, well, <laughs> ah, he said, I will pay. And seven years, Laban did not remember one day to tell Jacob that this is the younger one. No, it's only the other one that we can. And there is a, it's not like that in our culture. What kind of satanic culture? What kind of satanic culture is that? I said, okay, okay, okay. This one too, fulfill a week. Serve me for this one again. Deceitfully, he got another seven years. Ah, but God is a good God. The day God will show Laban, God beat Laban blue and black. Ah, God butchered Laban. And all the sons of Laban, they became poor. Yes, before Jacob left that house, poverty entered that house. I pray for you. Anybody who has swindled you, I pray by apostolic anointing over my life. Anybody that swindle you of your money, poverty will enter the house. I'm angry. Anyone who deceitfully took your money from you, ah, I join my faith with your faith. 
anyone who deceitfully took what belongs to you may poverty enter the house. Genesis 31 1. I pray for you again. Anybody that deceitfully took what belongs to you, anybody that swindled you, took your money, took your property, took your papers, took anything that is yours, I join my faith with your faith. May poverty enter the house. When poverty entered the house, he had the words of Laban's son say, Jacob had taken all that was our father's. Listen to me. Everything that belongs to them, may God convert it to you. The people that deceived you, the people that took what rightfully belonged to you, whatever belongs to them in destiny, this night, God is giving back to you. Jacob had taken away all our father's all that was our father's. And that which was our father's, he has gotten all this glory. Can you see? The glory was converted. It was restored. The glory he took from Jacob, the glory was restored before Jacob left that house. Before you leave this country, whatever you have lost in this country, before you leave this, it was before Jacob left Laban's house that all the glory was restored. Before you leave this country, whatever you have lost here, may Jehovah restore it to you. Ah. Verse 9. Because of my time. Verse 9. Jump to 9. Jump to 9. Is it 9? Yes. Thus, God has taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. God took it and gave it to Jacob. God took everything away. I pray for you this night. Anyone that has deceitfully taken anything from you, whatever belongs to them in destiny, may God give to you. Ah. God took all that belongs to Laban. All. The one that is rightfully is, the one that is stole from Jacob, God took everything and gave to Jacob. And when he was leaving that house, the house was already impoverished. They were already a pauper. That house was very poor. He thought he was wise. But who is wiser than our God? Please, don't try to cheat anybody. Don't try to cheat anybody. Because if God rises to fight for that person, don't try to cheat anybody. Don't do it in your life. Make sure, be, satisfy your conscience with everybody. Please, satisfy your conscience. When you are dealing with somebody, make sure your conscience is satisfied. Don't cheat anybody. When he was cheating Jacob, Jacob kept quiet. But he didn't know that Jacob has a God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The same God that fought for Jacob. This night, he will arise and fight for you. The same God that fought for Jacob. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. That same God, this night, he will fight for you. Ah, From today, you won't fight alone. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. From this very day, I say you won't fight alone. Jehovah will fight for you. I said Jehovah will fight for you. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. The things that are violently taken away. The things that are violently taken away. You are going to pray this first prayer. But as we are praying this prayer, if you know, I want some people to come and pray this prayer on this altar. That's how it came to my spirit now. If you know that there is something violently taken away from you, if you know that there is something violently taken away from you, please, as we raise this prayer now, as we raise, you will come to this altar. I want you to put a seat on this altar. If you don't have it here, you will put it here by tomorrow. And you will cry here that Jehovah, this particular thing that was violently taken away from me, restore it with interest. Listen to me. I just want you to sow a seed of a hundred pounds. That's all. That's all I want you to do. That's all. But you know, you know that word is for you. Please, this first prayer be on this altar. If you have it here tonight, drop. If you don't have it, bring it tomorrow. But pray this prayer. Mention, listen. I give you permission to mention name now. 
Yes, you can mention name. You can mention name now on this altar. This thing that this so-so person violently took from me. You can report the person on this altar now. No, it doesn't mean that you are bitter. Rara, report the person. If you are sure, if you are sure, if you are sure that the person violently took it away, whatever it may be, money, property, human being, whatever, husband, wife, children, whatever, you are sure, you are sure that the person violently took it away. Listen to me, that is the minimum. But listen, when, when God is asking for a seed like this, if you know that minimum is too small for what you are asking for, don't let anybody teach you. I'm putting the minimum so that everybody can key to the prophecy. But if you know that what, you are, what was violently taken away is far above that, please raise the bar by yourself. We are going to cry on top of our voice. Please, this prayer, don't wait for anybody. And don't see anybody. Don't let anybody wait for you. As we are praying, it, if you are among the people I'm talking about, come to this altar. You will cry to God, Lord, my Father, everything has been violently taken away from me. Let there be restoration with interest. Wherever you may be on, in this hall, don't let anybody teach you. Come to this altar. You know what I'm talking about concerns you. This is your season of restoration. I give you the permission. Mention the name of the person if you know the person. If you don't have the seat here, you can bring it tomorrow. Whatever has been violently taken away from me, my father, my father, let it be restored with interest. Whatever they took away from me violently, my father, restore it with interest. Open your mouth and begin to speak to God. There are spaces here. Everybody pray now. Make sure you are praying. 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 Sure pray. There are spaces. There are spaces. There are spaces. Let's make sure you are touching the altar. Please pray. Everybody in the church, please pray. Everything that has been taken away from me, knowingly or unknowingly, either I know it or I don't know it. Whatever they do by violence, ah, oh God of this altar, oh God of this altar, oh God of the whatever they took away from me. Somebody took your job, you didn't do anything, and they just sacked you for what reason? For what because, because you are not a citizen of this country, what kind of rubbish is that? For what reason? You didn't do anything. They said you should go. They sack you without reason, without benefit. You better demand your restoration now. Demand your restoration now. Demand your restoration now. Ask for your restoration now. Whatever they do from me violently, my father restore with interest. My father restore with interest. Is somebody praying in this house? Restore with interest. My father, my God. Please pray. Oh. These are sensitive issues. Nobody should beg you to pray. There are things they took away from you wrongfully. There are things they took away from you that they are not supposed to take. Are you sure you are praying? There are things that were taken from you that they were not supposed to take. Ah, God must fight for you. God must fight for you in this house. God must fight for you. This convention must not get to an end without God showing up for you. God must fight for you. Ah, uh -uh. please pray. 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 Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
please pray the prayer. Those of you on this altar still remain there. Listen to this prayer. Lord, the same way you restored Joseph and you put his brothers to shame. Listen. The same way you restored Joseph and you put Potiphar and his wife to shame. Father, restore me like that. The same way you restored Joseph and you put all his brothers to shame. Uh -uh. The same way that you restored Joseph and you put all his brother to shame. Uh, my father, my God, restore me like that. Restore me like that. Are you sure you are praying? Is somebody talking to God? Everybody in this house, it's time to pray the same way you restored Joseph. Exactly the same way that you restored Joseph and you put all his brothers to shame. Pray. 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 The same way what you did for Joseph. They took his coat, but you gave him vesture. Are you sure you are praying? In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Ma. Hello, ma. Are you in business? Eh? Please pray. As we're praying, I saw that you are, you are receiving some containers of loads. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw, I saw, that, I saw that they are, they are, they are delivering some containers to you of loads. That's why I asked that question. We're going to pray now. Things that were gotten deceitfully. Listen to me. Please join them if anybody swindled you. If they took anything from you by deceit. Between now and tomorrow, so a seed of a hundred pounds, nothing more than that. Please join them on this altar. They took it from you. They swindled you. They deceived you. You were deceived. You must understand the mystery of sacrifice. Cry on this altar. Lord. Ah. <laughs> this person that, that swindled me. That took away what belonged to me deceitfully. Father. Take all his glory and give to me. Is that not what happened to Jacob? Sir? He said all the glory of our father he has taken. All his glory in destiny. Everything that belongs to him in destiny, add it to my own. If you are here this night, they took anything from you deceitfully. Please join them. Look for it between today and tomorrow. We are all going to cry to God and pray, Lord, the same way that the same thing you did for Jacob, Father, do it in my life. The same thing you did for Jacob, Father, do it for me tonight. The same miracle you did for Jacob. The things they took from me by deceit. Lord, let it be restored. Let it be restored with interest. Are you sure you are praying now? Everybody open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Can I have anointing oil, please? Yes. I'm asked to anoint that your hand. That your hand, that hand that they put ring, that they put ring for Joseph. Yes. 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 <laughs> Please pray, everybody. The same way you took it back for Jacob. Yes, speak to God. 
The things that were taken from me deceitfully. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Sorry, I don't know this person. I don't know this person. Just identify yourself if you are still in the congregation there. There is somebody who has been giving you a promise, but now to you, it's as if the person is just uh, is taking you for play. It's, it looks like a child's play. It's not, what I'm talking about now has been, it's a bit long ago. I would do it. I would, but to you, it's, it's as if it's just taking you for granted. You know what I had, what I had just now? That God who is able to bring something out of nothing. Calling those things that be not as though they were. That even if the man seems to be unserious, but by the sacrifice of this night, I don't know the person. You are. Okay, you're already here. Any other person in the congregation like that? It's just, okay, two of you, okay. It's just, it's, it's as if the man is just, the person is just, uh, is taking you for a ride. That's the way I had it. But listen to me. By the sacrifice you are making, please, the two of you should be very sensitive. I won't tell you what to do. But be very sensitive. But either it's serious or it's not serious. I had it very well. That is taking you for a ride. And it's as if, it's as if somebody is just making jest of you. That's, that's the language. It's as if it's just making jest of you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. But listen to me. He said, he collect those things that be not as though they were, even if it's not serious. On this altar now, I don't even know that you're already on the altar. But I beg you, be very sensitive. When it comes to sacrifice, most times you don't even need to be taught what to do. Your matter is now double. It's different from their own. So know what, be, be wise, know what to do. But on this altar, even if the man seems to be unserious or is deceiving you or is telling lie, but God that collect those things that be not as though they were. We make that promise real. Yeah. Everybody, we are going to pray now. Those of you on the altar, stretch your right hand. I want to anoint your hand. Everybody, they put ring. They took just coat from Joseph. But when the restoration started, it started from ring. Father, give me what is bigger than my age. Everybody, either you are on the altar or where you are, Everybody, those of you on the, at the altar, I want to anoint your right hand. Can you get me the oil, sir? Everybody, you are going to pray that prayer. Lord, put in my hand the ring of Pharaoh. Not, not the ring that they went to buy, daddy. Not that they went to buy it in boutique. The original stamp of Egypt. The stamp, the authentic stamp of Egypt was removed. Ah, listen to me. God can give you Britain. Eh? God gave... God gave Egypt to Joseph. The day the ring was put in the hand of Joseph, the meaning is that I give you Egypt. I, God can give you Britain. So if, if you are in that congregation and what I'm saying pertains to you, you better join them now as I annoy them. But every one of us, either you are here or you are there, begin to pray, Lord, what is bigger than my age? What is greater than me? Father, put it in my hand. Put it in my hand. That thing that is bigger than me. Ikori Sakai. Yes, those of you in the front, open your eyes. Your right hand. Le Kabaya.
Amen. Those of you at the front, take the card or the envelope. Make sure tomorrow I will ask for it. Or if you want to redeem it now, you can redeem it now. Every one of us, one last thing, and I drop this mic. The Lord asked all of us to pray. One last thing. What, Lord, give me what will make my family to look up to me. Put in my hand. Put in my hand. If you want to go on your knee, this is a very sensitive prayer, go on your knee. If you want to go on your knee, go on your knee. If you want to lie down, lie down. But listen to me. This is the reason for this prayer. Hear this. This is the reason for this prayer. I saw an angel walked in. If God opened your eyes, you will see it. And he's distributing gift. What I want you to ask for now, God gave Joseph one thing. And not only his family, the whole nation began to look up to him. An angel walked in now. That's all. I'm closing now. That's all. Please ask now. Leave everything you are doing. If you want to kneel down, kneel down. If you want to lie down, lie down. If you want to lie down, lie down. Close your eyes. Ask now. What we make my family to look up to. If your faith can carry it, you can say what we make the nation to look up to you. If your own faith can carry it. If your own faith can carry it. Please pray. I will drop this microphone too. I will pray in the next one minute now. Before we close. Before I, before I stop what I'm doing. And I will hand over to daddy. Please make sure you are praying. There is something that the angels of God are distributing now. I don't know that thing. But there is something that will make your family members to look up to you. There is something that will make your family members to look up to you. There is something that will make your family members to look up to you. You better ask now. You better ask now. Jesus. Makapo Sotoria. Maradabo Shikata. Ikarapo Sikapaya. The day that ring entered into the hand of Joseph, everybody in Egypt began to look up to him. What will make everybody to look up to you? Receive it with your hand this night. What will make people to look up to you? The very day, the very day they put the ring in the hand of Joseph, the whole Egypt began to look up to him. The whole Egypt began to look up to him. You can feed a nation. 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 God can make you a father of nation. Joseph told Jacob his father. He said, God has made me a father unto Pharaoh. When Jacob came to the land of Egypt, when Jacob came to the land of Egypt, Joseph told him, God has made me a father unto Pharaoh. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we come before you. We bow before you, O God. You did it for Joseph, 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 oh God. You will do it for us. You will do it for us. Karabadaya. Thank you, Jesus.
Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Amen. The God that did it for Joseph, you will do it for us. Amen. As many of us that came to this prayer this night by faith, we came before you this night. We humble ourselves before you. We humble ourselves before you. Joseph is a man of like passion. You made a whole nation to look up to him, O oh God. Lord, we came. He's a man of like passion. He said to Jacob, his father, he said, God has made me a father unto Pharaoh. Pharaoh is the father of Egypt. Joseph is the father of Pharaoh. Ah, Lord, what we make people to look up to us, what we make nation to see us as father, what we make us to become solution to the problem of nations, when Egypt cried unto Pharaoh that we are hungry, he said, cry to Joseph. He said, don't cry to me. Go cry to Joseph. He's the one that has the solution. Father, we ask tonight, in one accord, what will make us solution to the problem of nation, you will give unto us. Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Are you clapping for Jesus? Jesus.